And, uh, uh, you know, it was, Dan, Diane and I had been friends for a long time, and there was a nice, quiet, lull of a conversation, and it didn't need to be filled by anybody saying something or making small talk. And finally, I said, hey, did anything interesting, really interesting happen to you this past year? You know, that's worth telling. She said, well, let me think about that for me. She said, well, you know, I did go back to see my old teacher this year. I said, well, tell me that story. And she told me the most amazing story. And uh, not long thereafter, I, I met, I was reconnected with my high school music teacher, Frank Wiggler. I'm from Chicago originally. And Frank had settled down in Chicago to raise a family with his wife and when he was in his 20s. And he became my choral director. You know, he was my music teacher. And uh, Frank had a son named David. Uh, who died from cancer at age 20. So when Frank and I reconnected, not long after Diane and I was telling this story about going back to see her old teacher, uh, this song just kind of came out. It's a song of gratitude. And uh, I think Frank, my music teacher, kind of uh, uh, may have uh, be helping to fill an Ill, unfillable void for the loss of his son, but we've become really good friends. And now the man who used to tell me to spit out my chewing gum in choir practice is now my side man when I play gigs in Chicago. He plays piano for me, which is no small thing, because before he settled down, he was playing piano for people like Frank Sinatra, Peggy Lee, and Sammy Davis Jr. So, like, he can play along with you before you even know what you're playing. <laughs> Great musician. So here's a song for anybody who might have felt like you worked really hard and don't know if anything you did made a difference that particular day, or that week, that year. Starts with the melody of a Peter Paul Mary song, one of my favorite groups of all time. This is for both my Nancy's here tonight. First time that I heard that song was a time I will remember. It all goes back some 30 years to Mr. Ryan's classroom. One day he brought his old guitar and he sang his favorite songs for us. And the single one that I remember most was all my trials. Something in his simple singing, it touched my very sixth grade soul. The harmonies he taught us are the ones that I still know today. The verse about the tree of life was wondrous to a twelve-year-old. Many times these thirty-plus years I wished that I could say. Thank you for the music, Mr. Ryan. The simple gift you gave that day is one I have treasured dearly. I'll always see you sitting up there, singing all my triumphs. Never know how much it is meant to be. Never know how much it's meant to me. Well, I went home to see my folks in June, the town that I grew up in. Three of us were sitting in the kitchen having coffee. And I mentioned Mr. Ryan, how I had wondered what became of him. Mother said she heard that he's still working at my school. I grabbed my coat and ran outside, retracing my words. <coughs> the shortcut through the playground and the echo of the hallway. There he was in room 11, wiping off the blackboard. <laughs> took a breath and cleared my throat and <coughs> back into time. Thank you for the music, Mr. Ryan. The simple gift you gave that day is one I have treasured dearly. I'll always see you sitting up there, singing all my triumphs. Never know how much it is meant to be. You'll never know how much it's meant to me.
so sad and talked for quite a while. I don't think that he remembered me. So I told him of my work and where I've been and what I have done. And finally he leaned back and said, it's amazing that you've come today. Just last night my mother and I were talking unto one. She asked me, was I happy? I said, yes, I love my teacher. But I'm sad I never married, that I never fathered children. Oh yes, she said, oh yes, my son, you have fathered several hundred. Now I look across my cluttered desk, here you've come. Thank you for the visit, my dear child. Simple gift you gave today is one I will treasure dearly. I'll always see you sitting up here, filling in these thirty years. Never know how much it is meant to be. You will never know how much it's meant. The first time that I heard that song was a time I well remember. It all goes back some twenty years to Mr. Ryan's classroom. One day he brought his old guitar and sang his favorite songs for us. And the single one that I remember most was All My Trials. Something in his simple singing touched my very sixth grade soul. The harmonies he taught us are the ones that I still know today. The verse about the tree of life was wondrous to a twelve-year-old. Many times these twenty years I've wished that I could say. Thank you for the music, Mr. Ryan. The simple gift you gave that day is one I've treasured dearly. I'll always see you sitting up there singing all my trials. You'll never know how much it's meant to me. you never know how much it's meant to me. I went home to see my folks in June, the town that I grew up in. The three of us were sitting in the kitchen having coffee. And I mentioned Mr. Ryan, how I wondered what became of him. And mother said she'd heard that he's still working at my school. I grabbed my coat and ran outside, retracing old familiar roots. The shortcut through the playground and the echo of the hallway. And there he was in room 11, wiping off the blackboard. I took a breath and cleared my throat and stepped back into time. Thank you for the music, Mr. Ryan. The simple gift you gave that day is one I've treasured dearly. I'll always see you sitting up there singing all my trials. You'll never know how much it's meant to me. you never know how much it's meant to me. So we sat and talked for quite a while, I don't think that he remembered me. 
But I told him of my work and where I've been and what I've done. And finally he leaned back and said, It's amazing that you've come today. Just last night my mother and I were talking until one. She asked me, was I happy? I said, yes, I love my teaching. But I'm sad I never married, that I never fathered children. Oh, yes, she said, oh, yes, my son, you fathered several hundred. And now I look across this cluttered desk, and here you've come. Thank you for the visit, my dear child. The simple gift you gave today is one I'll treasure dearly. I'll always see you sitting up here, filling in these twenty years. You'll never know how much it's meant to me. You'll never know how much it's meant to me.